Alrighty guys, it's time for yet another video on Phasmophobia and this time we're going to be checking out the Parabotic Microphone and we're going to be playing on the high school on professional difficulty because honestly, I mean, do you, are you really, who's not going to play professional when you're my level? Like, that would be weird. In fact, I demand that we have a higher difficulty, one that challenges even me because usually it's not that challenging. Now, I could eat my own words by it having spawn in the freaking gym, which would be terrible. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I just want to see how strong the parabolic microphone is. And we'll go from there. But from what I understand, it should be relatively, relatively good. EMF salt crucifix. Okay, Stephen Williams. Nothing too hard. Okay, then. So, breakers on the. Ah, this always confuses me. The right side. Okay, it's flickering lights. That's nice and all. I have a, ah, who cares about that anyway? Okay, Steven. So, we gotta fix the breaker, of course. So, we're gonna take our nice, handy dandy uh, parabolic microphone. We'll take a thermometer, I guess. And we'll take this. Okay. Ah. Let's see. So I never used this before because I knew this item was bad. Like once I used it and I was just like, ah, never again. I was just like this. I dropped that shit on the ground. But now that it's actually buffed, it should be definitely better. And anyway, we're going to go through the right side because that's where the breaker is. I assume. All right. Hmm, a little bit of sound, but nothing. Nothing too. Yeah, alright. Steven, show me a sign. Show us a sign. Show me a sign. Hmm, let's get the breaker on. That's most important. Get the lights on. Okay. What's that staticky noise? Show me a sign. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Now hold on a second. That was on my right. Show me a sign. Where are you? Show me a sign. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Steven. Something got knocked down. It sounded like it was right here. Did... No, that can't get knocked down. Because I can't interact with it. Huh. Also, how's the temperature looking? Wait, it already fluctuated back to normal? For this room, it's 45. Hmm. It's 50, okay. Let's just try this again. Show me a sign. Where are you? Show me a sign. Steven, where are you? Can you give me a sign? Ah. Steven, are you above me? I seem to have gotten a 9 when I pointed it up. So, one has to assume he's above me. As for the temperatures, the temperatures are a bit weird. But, alright. Also, isn't it nice this parabolic microphone doesn't take up your whole gosh darn screen? Big change. Okay, show me a sign. I mean, I'm not sure the parabolic microphone did much for me because I kind of have a general idea where it is already. Hmm. Show me a sign. Where are you, Steven?
I guess I'll just use the thermometer for now, but... No, I think it's further down. Ah. Oh, Steven! Where are you? A, B, C, one, two, three, where are you? I heard a door open. But I didn't hear it shut. Huh. How long until the temperature fluctuates? That's no okay, see the hallway is fine. What's the temperature of this room? Normal. Normal. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best test run for the parabolic microphone. Normal. Show me a sign. It's definitely on this side. Normal. Give us a sign. Hmm. Interesting. Is it in the first room I was in? No. Fascinating. Well, okay, maybe this will be a bit hard. I swear I hear it making noise. Give me a sign. Gotta wait like three seconds to get a temperature update. Is it possible it's not up here? Why does this room go out like this? Hmm. Show us a sign. Yeah, I'm way off. That's weird. It's below me then. So it was over here. Hmm. Show me a sign. Ah, oh, God, this is why I hate big maps. It's a phone with, I mean, it's a room with a phone, so. Oh, and here it is. Okay, we got freezing temps. Get the light on. Oh, there is no light. Okay, well, we don't need no light. So, my sanity should still be good. I won't, I won't say the trigger word. Hmm. But just in case, don't, don't say no trigger words, because in case it's a, you know, a demon or something, and you say the words like hunt, Scared. A couple other, well, quite a few words. It could be like, ah, oh, I get triggered. Huh. Let's see, though. I guess maybe the parabolic mic has more use from, like, if I enter through the center and I try to pick up noise, maybe that would have been better. Like, close range, maybe it's not that as useful. But, uh, yeah. How's my sanity looking? If it's below, like, yeah, no. Uh, let's just take one of these broken sanity pills, which they really do have to, you know, change these. All right, salt, crucifix, and EMF. Yeah, that's all nice and all, but first things first, we got to get a camera in that room. We already have freezing temps, so there's a good chance it'll be spirit box. Okay, then. 
if it's not spirit box, then yeah, we'll go from there. Ah, oh, boy. But yeah, I really like this game, and the fact that they're making it even harder, ah, it's amazing. But yeah, like I said, all they have to do is uh, change sanity pills, like I suggested in my suggestion video, and make them so they uh, refill your sanity up to 100%, but it decreases faster based on how high your sanity was prior to taking the pill and just making it so players can only have one per player, so it's a high risk, high reward item, it would be perfect. An excellent change. Now, why the heck does this classroom not have any lights in it? Hmm. I can't see anything. How can there be no lights? I find that hard to believe. I must be missing it. Ah, well, evidently this classroom didn't believe in lights. All right. Where are you? Ah, oh, I always forget. You don't say that. Are you here? How old are you? Oh, okay. That's nice. So it's either demon man. Oh god, it could have hunted me before. <laughs> this is. Okay. Where are you? That doesn't answer the damn question now, does it? Okay. Okay, well, it's not a banshee. So either demon, mare, or race. Banshee is the one that actually scared me now. Just because of the special ability that they never use. I mean, they use it sometimes, but it's pretty rare. Basically, Banshees have the ability to ignore the sanity rule for hunts. While other ghosts typically hunt when you reach a certain threshold of sanity, meaning a team average if you're playing with more than one person, um, the Banshee doesn't follow that rule. It can use its special ability, which, which makes it teleport, I think, to the person that it's targeting. And if I recall, if the player's there in that room, I think, for like 20 seconds, or if it's in the building. I don't know which one. I, I, I'm more inclined to say it's in the room. But pretty much it can trigger a hunt early if it uses that ability. And the target's still in the room. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. It's a mare. Okay, so now we need Salt Crucifix and EMF Reader. Okay, well, ah, let's get the painful stuff out of the way. Ah, because it's high school, it's going to take us an eon to get to that room. But the good news is we should be able to trigger a hunt. Now, I think when someone data mined the game, I think the mayor triggers a hunt is less likely to trigger a hunt if the light's on in its room. I don't know if the rule applies to whether you're in light or not. I think it applies if the ghost is in light or not. So once I got the crucifix set down, I'm just going to, you know, guess let my sanity tank. All right. We got to get an EMF uh, vent, regrettably. Okay. Actually, we'll do the EMF when I come back with the salt. For now, let's get the crucifix up. So, I guess one here, one here. Actually, in theory, there's no way to prevent, like, if, if the mare's mechanic on hunting faster only applies if the mare itself is in the light or not, then in theory, you couldn't even prevent it from hunting because there's no light in the... Yo, yeah. stop ringing the bell. Ah. Okay, then. The rest of the objective should be pretty easy to do. We just have to stay in a dark room the entire time. Unfortunately, the breaker is near the mare, and I hope the mare doesn't try to break the breaker. I mean, of course, it, it probably will. Hmm. But since we're playing by ourselves, we really need the breaker on. Otherwise, 
I'm not going to know if I prevented a hunt. Because I can't depend on someone to be in the van and tell me. Ah. Anywho, so crucifix are done. So let's get our salt in there. <coughs> we could, as an added bonus, smudge the room and try to get a ghost event. Because when you smudge a room, it increases the activity for the ghost. So you'd be more likely to get a ghost event or have the ghost appear. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen, as it's been proven so many times in the past. But, yes, let's, uh, maybe I'll do that. If my sanity's too high. Because, ah, I need to tank somehow. Alright. Alright, you listen here, ghosty ghost ghost. I'm gonna need you to hunt and huff and puff and blow the whole school down. Stuff like that. Ah, you're throwing stuff, aren't you? Okay. So with this, we have a good idea of where the mayor's walking, but I mean, it should just be the entire room. All right. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Yo, show yourself. Where are you? Do something. Hello? Where are you? Where are you? You're over here now. Interact with something. Turn on the lights. Oh, oh wait. You can't. There's no lights in this room. Where are you? Oh, there we go, EMF. How did you step from here to here to here to... You defy all logic. Did you just touch another door? What door are you touching? You're touching this door? Ah, I see. You must be walking through both the doors. Way to really throw someone off. Okay, so all that's left to do is to prevent a hunt. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay then, so let's go on the other side of the map, where it's safe. But yeah, that's my other problem with big maps in this game. Also yeah, the ghost likes to wander, so there's a chance the ghost is wandering at the edge of that room, of that, of that room, and then it's walking back, like it's, it's cycling between both the rooms. I hope it's not doing that, because that would be a pain to, you know, deal with. Okay then. So now we have to wait. But see the trick is if you're new or you some people just don't know this. It's really touching doors. Um you could tell if a excuse me, if a hunt's prevented if the lights go out, but the uh, breaker is not broken. Now, if it breaks the breaker, we're going to have a problem. <sighs> but it may not. It's all chance base. Hmm. It's interesting with the parabolic microphone and like, ah, but see... <laughs> I mean, the parabolic microphone, probably I should just been in the center of the map. If I was in the center, it would have been better. But I wasn't in the center. It's probably just supposed to narrow it down. But, ah, see, the temperature changes are so nice because it makes it a little bit harder to find the ghost. Should make games with a full group of four people a little bit more challenging on bigger maps. Okay. I gotta wait to prevent a hunt. I probably should have moved the crucifix further up, but I mean, it did walk in the salt by the crucifix, so. I'll just let my tank, my sanity tank. What's that say? Smoked. What? I can't see it. Gaby? Ah. Kids in there. Graffiti. Mmm. Anywho's, 
Uh, I guess while we wait, let me see. Um, oh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, anyway, just got to wait. Come on, ghost, hunt me. Do it. You won't. Hmm. See, I definitely think playing with groups, you can trigger hunts a lot faster. But it is a mare. The lights are turned off in its room, and I'm also in the dark, so... That should matter. Mm. And even if it does hunt, like I said, the biggest problem with bigger maps is even if the ghost wanders a bit, the chance of it wandering all the way over here is slim to none. I still say they need to make the base movement speed of the ghost higher. Because the fact that you can even outrun it, it's just it's so easy. Unless it's a revenant, of course. All right, Mayor, you should have a pretty high chance of hunting, so hurry up and get to it. Surprised it's not even breaking the breaker. I feel like mares aren't aggressive enough with the breaker. I mean, I guess you wouldn't want to make it too obvious. In fact, I think most ghosts normally, they don't break the breaker that much. Like, I get some ghosts who do it, like, all the time. I literally have one video where it turned off the breaker, like, three times on me, right in front of me. But most of the time, hmm... It uh, doesn't really do that. And another thing is with the uh, thermal changes and with the whole house starting off or facility that you're in starting off cold. It uh, it's a good it's a good mechanic definitely, but I mean, hmm, nothing in theory is stopping me from just walking outside and waiting like two to three minutes. Ah, oh, there we go. It turned off the breaker. Well, let's see if I prevented a hunt. I mean, a hunt could have happened during that time period. I doubt it, though. Maybe there's a higher chance of hunting when the breaker's turned off. But yeah, they should make it so... Have some kind of mechanic that if you're not in the building or something. Or just make the ghost more likely to break the breaker when a player's not in the house. Or, I don't know, there's a couple ways you can go about it, but... You can just wait outside and wait for the temperatures to fix themselves, and you're good. De I'm definitely in the hunting range. Um, I guess what I can do is... Hmm, I can go in there, turn on the breaker, and go back to where I was. Ah, the breaker is relatively close to where the ghost spawns, but... I'm sure I'll be fine. Famous last words. I can just outrun it anyway. Hmm. At least this light's on, so if I do prevent... Oh. Looks like I didn't prevent it. Just wait and see. Okay, um, also the ghost can hear you in solo play now. So yeah. Now there's a chance maybe I just got unlucky there. Hopefully they didn't turn off the breaker again. 
No, it didn't turn off the breaker. There's a chance I got unlucky there, so let's wait again and try to see if we can prevent another. If, if another hunt happens, then I'm just not going to bother with it. Because with the whole wandering thing, it can be pretty hard to prevent a hunt, it seems. I've seen some weird uh, ghost spawns with this wander mechanic. I think they should narrow it down a bit more to make preventing a hunt a little bit more easier. Because when the ghost is phasing through rooms and going up different floors, because I've seen that with this build in unrecorded games, it's a little weird. Anyway, let's see. Still, it should go... See, it's back in the room right now. So... Just needs to hunt why it's in there. It's in its room, I think, 70% of the time, so... What's the chances? Ah. Just gotta be patient. It's a game of patience. But like I said, eh, if this takes too long, I'm just gonna forget about it, because I'm filthy rich anyway. I mean, haven't you noticed I have like 1,000 candles, 1,000 lighters, 1,000 salt. Definitely need lots of salt for this game. You get salty very often. It's an important ingredient. Anyway, let's get that hunt down. Hunt already, damn you. Hmm. It's a marriage. Okay, well, we prevented a hunt. And at the same time, I'm questioning... The ghost was flickering the lights outside the hallway I was in, but yet we prevented a hunt. So it must have been all... Ah, what? That's weird. I normally don't see that. Anyway, yep, that's how you know if you prevented a hunt. Just make sure you could turn the lights after the lights go off. And there you go, you prevented a hunt. And yeah, we did all the objectives, and we're finished. It's a mare. Surprised I only hunt two times, though, when I was at the sanity ranges of 60 to 43, 42%. Should have hunted at least one more time. All right, anyway, we didn't get the bone, but I mean... Why does it seem like barely any money? Was that not professional? Huh. Oh, well, I'm not going to question it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe, you know, leave a nice comment. Or you could be mean, give it a thumbs down, say, boo, you suck. I mean, it's up to you. You have free will. Make your own choices. And um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys. No, my pyramid. I will see you guys next time. See ya.